Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. We are on day 1842 of our trek, and it is time to explore another nugget of wisdom, which includes an inspirational quote, along with some wise words from Gramps for today's trek. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. This is Gramps. Thanks for coming along on today's trek as we increase wisdom and create a living legacy. We are told in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16, How much better to get wisdom than gold and sound judgment than silver? If you apply the words that you hear today, over time, it will help you to become more healthy, wealthy, and wise as you continue on your daily trek of life. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. And today's quote is from William G.T. Shedd, and it is, A ship is always safest in harbor, but that's not what ships are built for. So today's nugget of wisdom is, A safe ship, a ship that never leaves harbor, will never fulfill what it's destined for. Even in harbor, it could be ripped into pieces by a hurricane. Yes, the ship is safest in harbor, but what good does that do if it is not used for its intended purpose? The same is true for our lives. At times we feel like climbing into a bubble to be safe from the storms of life, but that is not what we were created for. We are created as imagers of an all-knowing, all-powerful, and all-wise God, and He has a specific destiny for our lives. Regardless of what you do for employment to meet your physical needs of your family, it is not as important as what your true occupation is. We are destined to be citizens of God's kingdom, to help build His kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. What we do for employment enables us to facilitate our occupation. Everything that we do should be done for God's glory as part of our mission on building His kingdom. So let's not grow weary with life or attempt to hide in a bubble so we don't face our responsibilities. Let us proceed boldly, knowing that what God has called us to do, He also equips us to do. So face the raging waves of life when they come. God controls those raging waves just as He controls the peaceful ocean. And our passage for today is Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 through 31. Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of His understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youth will become weak and tired, and young men will fall into exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And as you ponder this nugget of wisdom for yourself, please encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,841 treks or read the wisdom journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so the D-State Trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And if you'd also like to receive our weekly newsletter called Wisdom Notes, please email me at guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly... I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to... Keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for more Daily Wisdom.